Hello and welcome to the second video of the Zeiss reverse engineering software. In this video you will learn how to import and export your data. I will also explain how you can select individual areas of your scan and why. In the next video you will be shown an example of reverse engineering. After starting the software we are now open we will now open a new project. The data transfer the important formats for CAD data are STEP, IDRIS, and SAT. We can import actual data in STL format and in the common ASCII formats such as text or CSV. You can import your data via the menu bar or via drag and drop. You have to explicitly select what you want to import when you are using the menu bar. You can import multiple files by, at once by using drag and drop. You can also export your data via the menu bar. Exporting is possible in the same formats as importing. For this video, we will import the STL data via drag and drop. Now we come to the point selection. With the point selection, you have access to the local areas of your scan. Why do you need this option? If you want to create a CAD element from a local area, for example, you must be able to select this area. If you want to delete local areas, if you want to create an STL from a local area. In order to be able to select individual areas of your scan, you have to activate the point container. Here you can choose the data for which you want to select, mesh or points. You have the option of how you want to select the points, all, front, or component. Now there are different types of selection. Select single triangles with the left mouse button. Keeping the control or alt key plus left mouse button pressed selects rectangle selection. Pressing the control or alt key plus left mouse button once selects a polygon. Holding down the Control or Alt key plus right mouse button starts the lasso selection. Difference between Control and Alt. The Control key is used to select points. If you select a selected area again, it is inverted. Alt key is always used to select. Deselection. The shift key is used to deselect. Here you can use the same selection types rectangle, polygon, or lasso. You also have the option of deselecting all points in the toolbar at the top right. You can also create a new STL with the selected points. Please use the plus in the toolbox for this. The new STL is now in the Model Explorer under the Points group. If you want to delete selected areas, you will find this under the right mouse button. If you have accidentally deleted points, you can restore them with the undo slash redo function. You can find it in the menu bar under edit or with the key combinations control plus Z or control plus Y. You will also find these selection types in the manual Chapter 1-20. The manual can be found in the menu bar under Help. 
To exit the selection again, you have to deactivate the point container by clicking on it again. Best fit through dynamic subsection. You can find this function under creating with elements, best fit. Select the dynamic subsection function in the combo box. When you click on your scan for the first time, it will be analyzed for the curvature behavior. Then you can select points by changing the curvature value. With this function, you have the possibility to quickly select the areas from which you want to create a geometry geometric element. It is also possible to create an STL from the selected points. This type of selection can also be found in Chapter 329 of the manual. Again, you can find the manual in the menu bar under Help.